welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube for episode 77 of our Madden 22 Battle of Eagles franchise mode. As you come into the last few weeks of our Madden 22 series. I mean, Madden 23 is going to come out. It's going to be a blast, guys. I mean, we're going to have a whole... We, we should have a whole review episode on what our Madden 23 is in the next couple of weeks. Next week or few or something like that. I'm not entirely sure when that's going to come out. But guys, we're in the playoffs for now. We're looking to go back to back. I mean, we lost year we lost year two, one last season. We're looking to win this season. That's definitely the game plan. Definitely, definitely the game plan right now. Let's, let's get it. Let's have ourselves just a great... A great, great season, honestly. And I don't think there's a better way to to take this on than, of course, playing against the Minnesota Vikings. Last week, we just ran all over the Niners. This week, hey, we're probably going to be back in the... We're, we're not probably... We are back in the snow. Taking on Dalvin Cook, Daniel Hunter. I mean, poof, Daniel Hunter. Remember that guy was good? Yeah, no, this is like... Four seasons into the future, so he's everyone's not as good as they are currently in, you know, in the current day. That's just something I've tend to pick up and notice, which is uh, kind of crazy, honestly, when you think about it. I'm thinking definitely for Madden 23 to put like the year and the week number, maybe. I don't, I don't quite know how to do that yet, or what I'm gonna do for that, uh, honestly, but. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, definitely. Now, Spencer Rattler, Bo Nix, they're, they're getting warmed up. You know, Rattler, he is the go-to guy. He has been this franchise Kiwi that Philadelphia has just been longing for for years now. And there's, there's something to be said here that Philadelphia just needs a quarterback that knows how to run the ball, know how to call plays, how to beat us that gunslinger. There's a guy kind of fling the ball across the field. You know, it's no more Carson Wentz, no more Jalen Hurts. It's it's all Spencer Rattler time. And, and, I, and, you know, best wishes for Spencer Rattler in the NFL when he gets drafted. You know, to whatever team he gets drafted to. We are voicing this over uh, before the draft. You know, we're a couple weeks before the draft right now. So hopefully Spencer Rattler uh, ends up on, on our Eagles in real life and, uh, Rocks number eight, which would just be hilarious because I'd be the first one to get that Spencer Rattler jersey. Yeah, I'd be like, called it, posted it on Twitter and everything. Check out my Twitter down below in the description, which is absolutely wild. Yeah, had someone try to tell me that Jalen Hurts' you know, pro day footage was just as good as Malik Willis. As Malik Willis bombed like a 70-yard pass and then Jalen Hurts bombed like a 60-yard pass and the guy had to slow up on it when Malik Willis' guy had a run through it. But, you know, take on Kellen Mond right now. Mond working his way in that starting position. 38, 31, 14. Not, a, not entirely shabby for, you know, Kellen Mond as he's going to roll out here and he's going to get himself a first down and then some more right there. You know, brought up and tackled up by Greedy Williams. Third and inches. I mean, they got the 48 back there. So no Dalvin Cook. That's the fullback. And the fullback just runs through. Is that Fletcher Cox? He ran through Fletcher Cox one on one. Fletcher Cox not expecting that heat. You know that smoke right there was not what Cox expected. Now first and fifteen after a false start. That's gonna be a sideline pass right there. Twenty yard pickup right there. Mond right now controlling the offense. Jerry Judy now on this team paired up with Justin Jefferson. Okay, sure why not? Let's just have this team be gross. And, oh boy, back in the end zone, did we not jump? What happened there? Why did our guy not jump? I mean, I get Justin Jefferson, but, like, come on, you gotta you gotta do something here. Mike Zimmer, he's pumped. Take a Spencer Rattler, 36, 32, and 11. Not bad. Not quite the passing numbers as Kellen Mom, but he's got the touchdown-interception ratio numbers down packed. But hey, you got Justin Jefferson. We got Devontae Smith as Devontae takes that up to the 44-yard line. 31-yard reception right there. You know, Philadelphia is down by a touchdown right now. They're not a team that usually stays down for long. As Rattler rolls out, avoids pressure. He's going to hit his receiver and try to be the tight end. Dallas Goddard. He's going to prance into that end zone right there for the touchdown. 
You love to see that right there. Tying this game up, taking momentum back. 7 all the score is now as Mon wants to drop back. Pressure hit as he's throwing. Doesn't matter though. Justin Jefferson now takes that ball in right there. Now, second and two. Come on. We got this one down packed. It's going to be a play action. And, oh, that fullback again. Let's look at that fullback right there. Second and six. There you go. Fletcher Cox getting to Kellen Mond right now. First sack of the game. Third and 13 the score is now. And that's uh, where we're going to be at right now. Third and 13 Cox in that X factor. Hit as he's throwing, going deep. Catalan gets, breaks it up. Jefferson had it for a minute there, but Catalan gets a hand on it to knock that free. Now, hand this ball over to Miles Sanders. Sanders gets his first carry of the game. 12-yard pickup right there for the best running back in the NFL. Third and six now. We're in a passing situation. And that's going to be caught by Goddard. No, broken up as Rocco Spindler. Break some ribs right there. He's going to be out for the game. Evan White's going to take over. Now second and eight. Hand off to 48. The fullback. And he's getting himself. Just a ton of touches right now. What happened to Dalvin? Is Dalvin Cook hurt? Dalvin Cook might be hurt with how often. Oh, there's Dalvin Cook. He's just gassed right now on second and 13. All right. Oh, boy. Cox. Cox getting stonewalled by Cook. Okay. That's not going to happen. As Justin Jefferson shreds a tackle right there. And then Avante Maddox going to tackle him here at the two-yard line by the shoelaces. Dude, Justin Jefferson, what a freak of nature that guy is. Imagine dra imagine drafting Justin Jefferson and be like, oh, yeah, we're set at wide receiver. And then be like, no, 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 we want Jalen Rager. As that leads to a touchdown right there. Jefferson sets up a big boy touchdown right there for Nail. Nail, Nail, the fullback, number 48, that white guy. Yeah, he gets a touchdown right there. Now, sec, uh, first and ten, sorry, first and ten, Rattler wants to roll up field right there for this first rush of the game. 11-yard pickup leads to a first down. Now, first and ten, rolling out again, out of pocket. That's going to be caught by Goddard. Goddard, ooh, misses some people right there. You know, spins off a tackle by 23. Ends up just outside of the red zone at the 22. First and ten now from the 22, handoff play action. Oh, we got a wide open receiver. Caught is Jalen Rager into the end zone. The battle of the eight teams right now. If Rager can do it, guess what? So can I guess if Justin Jefferson can do it, so can Jalen Rager. That's what I should have said. As Mond gets that up for a first down. First and ten now for that rushing first down. It's gonna be a handoff to number 48 again. 48 breaks of a big run right here up the sideline. Gonna force down here at the 22 yard line. Null. 74 yards on 14 carries. First and 10, Noss still in the backfield. What is what is he? Is he a full? What is what is this guy? Why is he so unstoppable right now? I mean, second and goal. Come on, 48 still out there. Come on, we got to slow him down somehow. They're putting that man in, you know, in motion. He's gonna be passing. Doesn't matter. Josh Sweat gets in there on the sack. First sack of the game. Third, three tackles too. Good for Josh Sweat. Third and goal now. They're going for the end zone on the 15-yard line. Come on. Sweat bullies that tackle and ends up... I'm sorry, that's Desmond Evans. Evans off the bench comes in. Bullied that tackle. He bullied him so hard though as Josh Sweat. Fourth and goal now. Come on. 23-yard line. It's going to be like a 35-yard field goal attempt. Uh, it's going to be good. All good there. Third from the 35. Third and six now. Okay, pressure, throwing it deep. Caught on the run is Devante. Tackle there at the 30-yard line. Spencer Rattler can fling it when he needs to. First and ten now. It's going to be a handoff to Sanders. And Sanders going to use his speed to cut inside and get down at the 12-yard line. 48 yards on, only seven carries. It's going to be first and goal. Handoff to Jack Stoll. Back up tight end, fullback, whatever you want to call him. As he gets in there for the rushing touchdown. Mike Zimmer somehow still has his job without actually winning anything. Let's take a look at his play calling. Rushing the ball 43% of the time for a buck 18. Averaging just over 5 yards a carry. Now Deuce Staley running the ball inside 6% of the time for 66 yards. Averaging 5.5 a carry. So I mean both teams similar game plan. Just one is executing it a little better than the other. As Philadelphia's got a 21-17 lead. 
it's going to be a rushing attack game now for Philadelphia. Try and eat as much clock as possible. Fourth and three. They're going to run. They're going to throw this one as Devontae picks it up and takes it down to the 19. Buck 98 passing two touchdowns for Spencer Rattler. He is in control right now. He is doing what he needs to do to get this game over with. Philadelphia has chewed, you know, what, what are these quarters? 13 minute quarters? Down to 5'11. So that just shows you how much time Philadelphia has eaten off these clocks. Now, you gotta see right in there. Miles Sanders makes us 28 17. Mon still in this game right now. And that's gonna be a sack right there by Josh Sweat. Second sack of the game. You know, pressure's starting to pile up. Mon starting to try and hold on to that ball a little longer now, down by a couple scores. Now, third and seven, here we go. It's going to be play action rolling out to the right. Here we go. Rattler is going to keep that one. Get bounced out at the 41 yard line. Doesn't matter. It's the first down. Second and eight. Hand off to Sanders. Sanders runs through one safety. Gets tackled by two more. Doesn't matter. He's over a buck 24 right now with a touchdown. Third and six. Come on. Miles Sanders territory. Here we go. Hand off again. Runs right behind Landon Dickerson. And Dickerson gets him up to the 28 yard line. Third and four. I mean, Philadelphia just eating so much time off the clock here in this second half. It is almost unfair how well this rushing attack is going for Philadelphia. Look at that. They went from the 20 down to the 2, eating just over 2 minutes, just under 2 minutes off the clock. Ends in a Miles Sanders touchdown, making it 34-17. 35-17 after the extra point, down by 18 points. Absolutely brutal. Now, Mond and the Vikings were in it, but a sack right here on first down by Thibodeau. Going to make it a lot harder as this clock's going to keep moving. Five sacks for Philadelphia's defense this game. Six and a half minutes left in the game. Sweat bullies that tackle. Overthrow Greedy Williams in coverage on Jerry Judy. Noah Sewell, he's pumped. 5-14 left. Sanders gets the ball. Sanders runs through some tacklers right there. It's going to be a fourth and inches. All right, we got this. 4.43 left, Sanders again, and Sanders, where are they going to mark him? No, turnover on downs. Okay, not what I expected right there. I definitely thought he got a foot over. Doesn't matter, though. We're up by up by 18 points. Mond over the middle. He gets number four right there. Number four is going to be is that Marvin Harris Jr. Marvin Harris Jr. right there, number four. What, a, what an offensive weaponry that this Vikings team have. Judy, Jefferson, and Marvin Harris Jr. Okay. Third and ten now. Mon just getting into like apparently it's all mad in cheese mode. That's what's going on right now is there's just you can't get any pass rush on them. You can't stop them. Run's gonna come up the middle and of course it is big number eighty seven right there. That's gonna be Frazier. Walt Frazier? Clyde Frazier? Yo. Frazier the T V show Frazier? It is he's throwing, picked off, underthrown right there. Catalan with it. Jalen Catalan may have just sealed this game right here for Philadelphia. Josh Sweat is down. And, you know, with that interception, Philadelphia's going to run out the clock. Mike Zimmer may have just played his last game here in Minnesota. Losing to Philadelphia twice here. First in the semifinals, the, the, the conference finals, or you want to call it. Now in the divisional round. Just absolute blowouts every time. And it's, it must be hard to be a Vikings fan when you see that you have Philadelphia on the schedule. Not an easy team to come play and not an easy stadium to come into. But Philadelphia the last couple seasons has locked up home field advantage in the playoffs and has definitely taken advantage of that home field advantage. Advantage of the advantage. It'd be crazy to not to. But Rattler, 200 flat, two touchdowns, not bad at all. Sanders, 221, you love it. 93 from Devontae to touchdown from Goddard and someone else. No sacks allowed. Nine tackles from Noah. Two tackles for loss. Two sacks for the injured Josh Sweat. You know, Philadelphia came in there and they definitely did it when it came to special teams. Special teams always on point for Philadelphia, it seems like. And after that game, Fletcher Cox says, yo, it's, we're all in. It's been one of the best games we've played in years. We're all in it. We're in it to win it. You know, let's get this money. Let's get this bacon. Let's, let's go after it. Let's come out here and let's win ourselves our third Super Bowl ring in, what, the last 
since 2017. What's 2017 to 2024? Seven years? Donald, I don't know. But Josh Sweat, torn labrum out for three weeks. And Spindler also after two weeks. That's a brutal loss right there for Phil.